When you receive your DC hub, it will look like this. This is the dual. The single is a little smaller. Mounting screws and standoffs. I'm now going to show you how these are used to fit the DC hub onto the stainless steel bracket. The bracket comes mounted using the plastic clips. To release the clips, push down and out they will come. And just do this with all of them. Push them down and out they will come. There are five in total. Remove the Perspex cover and begin the process by removing the protective plastic cover. It comes off very easily and leaves a beautiful stainless steel finish. Once done, you will find a little bit of glue residue very easy to remove. Right, we are now going to mount the DC hub into the bracket. The process is very straightforward. The mounting holes on the back of the bracket, the small ones on the outside, are for mounting corresponding mounting holes in the DC hub. There and there, all the way around the edge. The larger ones are for you to use to pre-mount this wherever you desire. But before pre-mounting it, the following step must be completed. And that is to take all our risers and attach them to the underside, like I've done there. The easiest way to do this is to lie the bracket on its side, insert one of the screws, or you could also call them small bolts, and do that finger tight all the way around. Once you have finished, it will look like that. Right now to tighten them. These are made of a polymer material. The reason why we don't use a steel, stainless steel anymore, is that these, should they come loose, cannot conduct electricity. So if one does come out, it cannot cause any damage. But it does mean that when securing them, use your fingers, grab each one tightly and give it a nice firm tighten with a good screwdriver. That is all that's needed. Don't over tighten them. There I am finished. If you have some of these left over, well that's done on purpose in case you mislay one or two of them. Right, now, next story. We're going to take the Egon DC hub and we're going to position it in its cradle. Now, the reason why we do all of this and only put in the DC hub at this stage is because, well, if you want to now mount this using the mounting holes somewhere, you can you do that first, then you add the DC hub, and then you run your cables. And again, the process is very, very simple. You simply take your DC hub, you align up the holes, do not tighten them until all of them are in place, and then go back and tighten them individually. If your screwdriver is magnetic, you can make your life a little bit easier. And I'm finding it difficult doing this now because I've got a camera pointing at this thing 
and it's not allowing me to put my hands where I, okay, I'm gonna forget about the camera and I'm just going to do it. There you go, that's how you do it. Right, put your fingers down close to it to guide the screwdriver. And you will find that very easy to do. Once you have done them all, my suggestion then is to go around and in one direction, all the way around and ensure they've got a firmness to them. Right, that is now done. Okay, brilliant. Doesn't that look nice? I think that looks splendid. Right, I'm just gonna run one cable and all of these clamps work in exactly the same way. They are extremely high quality, so you'll find that voltage drop through these is extremely low, and anybody can make a good connection with the DC hub. And also to secure the cables to prevent any vibration running the cables loose. You will find, as here, I've got extra items, just keep them somewhere. We always pack a few extra for you guys. Right, let's get on with the wiring. Right, we are going to run a wire to the, how about this one? The unregulated solar input. You'll see a mark there, it says plus and minus. Red is obviously the plus. Now, the beauty of the DC hub is that you do not have to put lugs on these. It is absolutely unnecessary because of the quality of the clamps on the DC hub. It's just not necessary. See, I've put that all the way in there. You see that? And all I do is I tighten it up. Now, there is with the instruction booklet that you can download, find it online or download it on the egon.com.au website. There are torque values. Now I know that most of you won't have a torque screwdriver. So I'm going to say this, make them tight. Make them really, really tight. Okay, tight. It's unlikely that you will break them. Now, the great part about this, let me show you how these work. These are very cunningly designed. You take your cable tie, you connect it, you slide it over Can you see that a little bit better? Can you see what I've done there? I have slid it over the cable. And I tighten it. That is not going anywhere. And if there is a bending moment here, you can see it's holding it straight. It means that there's going to be no compromise, no possible breakage in the cable between this point and that point, which is the most vulnerable. What is very important though, is that when you run the cables and push the cables into these connectors, you make sure that they go all the way and make double sure that the clamp, the metal clamp is not touching plastic the insulation on the cable. Now in this particular one, they're close, but they're fine. But just make sure, if you accidentally clamp part of the cable insulation, it will induce voltage drop. Yes, very, very important. So double check your work. And that is as easy as that. Run the rest of your cables for your system into your DC hub and all the complex bits will be done for you. Insert the correct fuses and your job is done. Before we put the clear plastic back, take the clips and make them look like that. 
and do it with all five of them. Align the cover and simply push those in and the center clip down. That is your beautiful DC hub complete.